In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, teach us to pray as you did. Lord, have mercy. Give us today our daily bread. Christ, have mercy. Forgive us our sins as we forgive one another. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray, O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, Grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of Bishop St. Alphonsus, the glory in his zeal for souls, as to attain the same rewards that are his now in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azor from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, thus says the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the oak of the king of Babylon. Within two years, I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, Jeconiah, son of Joachim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen, thus may the Lord do. May he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles back from Babylon to this place. But now listen to what I am about to state in your hearing and the hearing of all the people. From of old, the prophets who were before you and me prophesied war, woe, and pestilence against many lands and mighty kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesied peace is recognized as truly sent by the Lord only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Therefore, the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it and said in the presence of the people, thus the Lord, even so within two years, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from off the king of all the nations. At that, the prophet Jeremiah went away. Sometime after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go, tell Hananiah this. Thus says the Lord. By breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. A yoke of iron I will place on the necks of all these nations, serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beasts of the field that I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah. The Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in this people. For this says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Lord, teach me your statutes. 
Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Lord, teach me, teach me your statutes. Your statutes. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. Let those turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decrees. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. your statutes. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I be not put to shame. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. statutes. Sinners wait to destroy me, but I paid heed to your decrees. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. Your statutes. May our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. When the crowds heard of this, they followed him on foot from all the different towns. When he disembarked and saw this large crowd, his heart was moved with pity. He cured the sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, this is a deserted place and it's already late. Dismiss the crowd so they can go to the village and, and buy some food for themselves. He said, no, there's no need to send them away. Give them some food yourselves. They said, five loaves and two fish are all we have. He said, bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. So you guys may not know this, but a lot of stuff goes on that you are not familiar with. That goes on. Like, like many of us went to St. Joseph's Festival over the weekend. It, there's an evaluation process always going on. I go to almost every block party in Northeastern Pennsylvania. And one of our parishioners has a website that evaluates every block party. He does it kind of as a professional thing. I do it just for my own personal needs. Like, okay, what, did they have this and we didn't have that? Or we had this and they didn't have, like nobody else has the diaper derby. That is patented by me. So if they want to do it, they have to pay me money. You're all supposed to laugh now. The real writer stole that idea from me and did not give me money for that, but I'll talk to the Yankees about that some other day when I have more time. But there's always, this year there's been one question, well, two questions. Can anybody find instant bingo? And the answer is no, I don't think it's being manufactured. If you want to make some money, start manufacturing instant bingo because everybody wants it. The other thing is, what are they charging for food? What do they charge? Because everything is just so expensive. How much can I ask for a hamburger? Well, it was about five. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and what, do you, what do you, I mean, how much can I ask that people are going to be willing to pay? But if I'm not asking a lot, I'm going to lose money. But people have to eat. Okay, we can cut back on our driving a little bit and use less gasoline because it's at four something a gallon. You, know, you take the bus, but you have to eat. You got kids, they really have to eat. Hence, it should not surprise us that among the best known of Jesus' miracles 
was feeding people. Now, I've never had to feed 5,000. I've never had to feed five. But he saw this vast crowd and he said, if I don't give them something to eat, they're going to die. Jesus knew what he was doing. Did they follow only because he fed them? Which is the fear. He's giving me something from my belly. Okay, I'll follow that fella. No, no. He's giving something for your soul. Both the Eucharist, which we get as Catholics in, in our life, but also the Word of God that challenges our souls to follow him. What does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus? Some of which is hard to swallow. Or did they come just because they, were, they had a full belly? If all you want is a full belly... I'm not sure if Jesus is your man. And he said that to him. Is this the only reason you come? I hope we're here for something much deeper than that. A relationship with God that gives our life meaning and purpose. and helps me go out there and make sense of that crazy world. I hope that's what we're looking for. A piece of bread I can find. Connection with God can be a challenge. Some never get it. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. Our response this morning, Lord, hear our prayer, that the church may evermore effectively proclaim the true and lasting riches found for all people in Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may always be responsive to the needs of the poor, the hungry, and the vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Peggy Brady, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh God, we beg you to hear our prayers. Give us in this Eucharist food for eternal life, that it may draw us closer ever to you. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Be pleased, Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your spirit as you granted St. Alphonsus Liguori should celebrate these mysteries. And by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the heavenly kingdom 
It's right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring us to experience here on this earth that gives you promise in a new world still to come. And so with the angels and the saints, we praise you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. It was the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord God, who gave us St. Alphonsus Liguori to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often, and receiving it, praise you without end. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.